Hey guys, it's Heather, and today I have my very first JB Style Box. So this is a new box for my channel. Um, I'd seen, I don't know if it was on Instagram or something, I'd seen a couple of people talk about this but I have never actually seen an unboxing or what type of clothing was sent. So I was curious and then funnily enough the last video I put up people were asking me about if I've tried JB Style and I'd already placed my order. Um, that same day the stylist called me, her name is Carol, and she went over, I mean, you do, you do a profile, you know, you answer a quiz and you put in information about yourself. And then she actually went on and watched a video of mine to kind of get an idea of me, what I look like, my size, and you know, the types of things that I gravitate towards. And then she called me and asked me for things I was you know, specifically looking for, things I didn't like, um, things I had problems with. And, you know, things as we were having this conversation, other, you know, things like the buttons, my phone is ringing, um, the buttons gaping at the chest, um, sleeves being too long, um, shoulders being too tight, if the sleeves are the right length, um, several, several things like that, uh, things that I would have forgotten about just typing it in. So um, after our conversation, she said that um, I would be getting a box. Oh, pretty. So here's what I'm seeing, whoops when I open the box. Let's start with, okay, they're tied together. Brown paper package is tied up with string. These are a few of my favorite things. All right, I mean, everything was, there's a little pair of booties. I did tell her I was looking for a pair of black, non-suede, not too dressy, kind of pointed toe, not round toe, but not super long toe booties. <laughs> so we'll see how she did with that. Um, super nice lady. This is, she took a picture. There's a picture. It's actually like a photo of what I think is in this bag. So what the idea would be. All right. It is a $20 styling fee. Let's start there. It says, um, Fashion delivered to your front door, JB Style Box. Number one, fill out a simple survey that will help us get to know you. For a $20 styling fee, we'll send you a wardrobe capsule that is picked especially for you. Two, your stylist will select, hand select five or more pieces based on your style profile. You can mix and match, and then JB Style will be delivered to your door. Three, keep what is right for you and send the rest back. Using our free label, free shipping label provided you will only be charged for what you keep, less the $20 styling fee. So, a personal styling service, your stylist gets to know you, gathering all the best fits and styles to match your style and, and profile, and sends them right to your home. You call the shots. You tell us when you want a box, what your price range is, and it's hand-selected outfits that are picked just for you. JBStyleBox.com. So, um, I do know that there, here's my return label. It says Attention Carol on it, so it goes directly back to her, I'm assuming. And there is literally a handwritten note here. JB Style Box, thanks for letting us style this box for you. We hope you love it. Style notes, Heather, thanks for trying the JB Style Box. I hope you find some pieces that work for you. She writes big letters, bubbly letters, so it's a little harder for me to read. So this actually has, she's talking about the different items, the jacket, a great style detail, and thought this would be a great layering for my working outside. Um, she asked me what I do and what type of thing. Um, all right, so, and she did send me some black booties. Yay! She's handwritten the prices. Um, oh, there's a handbag in here. There's a handbag in here? Oh, additional styles and photograph. So in this photo, oh my goodness gracious, I didn't even realize this. There are multiple styles in the photographs. Oh. Do you see this? So these, she's giving me options, things that I could add to it, different ways to style them. How neat, how neat. Okay, here's a couple more pieces of paper. This is my, this is my order form, my invoice, there we go. So there are six items in here. 
I guess I send one of these back because they're duplicates. It's a little pricey. Um, all right, let's just let's just open. Let's start with the booties because I don't have any solid black booties that are not suede, and the only pair I have that are suede are scuffed up pretty good. So, okay. These have like an animal hair back here, so they are a little dressy. You have some kind of patent leather striping here, and then leather with kind of a kind of a pointed toe by Dolce Vita. And these are black, size six and a half, and they are $130. They might be a little dressy, but they don't have that little silver thing that the other toe had. I kind of like the little animal. They're, they're, they've got some interesting details. There's no zipper. Is this, okay, so it's stretchy. There's a stretch here. Okay, I do like those. So we'll have to see how those look with the outfits. What do we have next? So we ta take this little, it's, it's all done so pretty. All right. This must be the Bobby, yes. It looks like it's actually stacked in order of my invoice. There we go. This is the Bobby surplus top in a pretty kind of a teal green. Is it a wrap front? So it's a wrap front, but it is sewn here by you know, about two inches or so. Is it fully? So it is open there other than that. So maybe a black cami or something underneath because it does look like a pretty deep V. Um, this is in the color Jade, size medium. Sleeves look a little long. And this is $90. I do like the color a lot. All right, this is a faux suede jacket by Cut From The Cloth. I believe I had mentioned to her that I wanted a black, like moto jacket, um, but this one is black and it is a faux suede jacket in size medium. It has some stretch to it. It's kind of got like a, a cut edge. It's like a raw cut edge here. There are pockets on the sides, and it is a diagonal zip, my goodness, and it's almost got a little blazer feel with the lapel here. It's kind of lightweight, and there's stretch. So how much was this little guy? Um, $89. So we have, so now to go to the bottom. Connie, I get these a lot. Oh, I like the front of these, okay. Connie ankle rise skinny, high rise ankle skinny. Con cut Connie high rise ankle. Oh my gosh. In the color Alter, size six, $89. So these are a nice dark wash. I really like the dark wash right now. And the front has this little cutout, which helps when you're wearing booties. Otherwise, the ankle of your jeans kind of bunch up right there. And I think I like that. No distressing anywhere else. It's all a nice dark wash. Okay, I do like those. All right, there are two more items. The thermal plaid mixed oh, THML, not thermal, THML plaid mixed jacket, size medium. This is interesting. So it's got several different materials, kind of like a little nubby, a now let's just do this. Everything has got a little, there's flannel, there's like the mixed material. It's a snap front, it's very long. Oh, get some more of this stuff. Snap, oh there's, that is even the sleeves are a different. It's really long, really long. And this one is $76. I'm not gonna judge it till I try it on. Maybe that with the skinny jeans, the booties, and then apparently this little top underneath it. And this is by Wishlist. It's the ribbed short sleeve tee in a color ginger. Now, I kind of like this color. There is a peach tone, taupey tone, salmony tone that is not quite right for me. It makes my skin look sallow. It needs to be a little bit more saturated of a color so that I don't look drained. And I think this is saturated enough that I won't look drained, we'll have to see. 
This is a size large, which thankfully, thankfully it is because it is a rib knit shirt, so it's gonna it's stretchy and it's probably gonna grab to the areas of my body that I don't want to grab right now. And it is only $31. So, all right. Okay, let's do a try on. All right, so I have the first four pieces on. Um, let's start with the cut from the cloth jacket. It's the faux suede, completely stretchy. I did fold the sleeves up one time. I could have them taken up just a little bit. It's just a little long, but it's the, um, I guess it's not horribly long. It's a little long, but it's a, uh, like an unfinished hem. There's a stitching in there, but how easy would that be just to make them just a touch shorter because there's no snaps or buckles or, you know, major seams or anything. So. The jacket has pockets. It would zip up. It's very stretchy. Where's the... It's very stretchy. Tuck the material in. I don't think, let's see, if we go all the way up like this. There we go. So that's what it would look like if you rolled it off. Let's see. So if it was cold outside, this with a little scarf would keep your neck warm if you wanted to wear it all the way up. I don't think I would. I think I would wear it more, I mean, depending on if it's really cold and I need to, I like the jacket. Very easy to wear. Do I need another jacket? I don't know. Probably not, but I like jackets. I like jackets, sweaters, shoes. Um, anyway, so let's take the jacket off and let's go to the surplus top. This was by... Bobby, if I'm correct. Bobby surplus top, yes. Um, it's a little long. It's long in the sleeves. Oh, it's a lot long in the sleeves. It's a lot long here. And I'm not sure how I feel about this. Um, it kind of feels like I'm going to be exposed. It is stitched here. But I think it might be a little long. A little low. I, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think it's a little long for me. <laughs> It's cute and I love the color. Just think it might be a little long for me. Okay, jeans, these are the Connie High Rise. It has a little cutout in the front that makes the booties sit properly on the foot. And these booties are really comfortable. They don't have the little extra um, silver detail that the last pair I tried on were. They do have animal hair in the back of some sort. They've got some interest. And I think they're really cute. Do they make my feet look really long? No, well, it has a you know that Western vibe, I guess, because the, the toe is so pointy. So uh, maybe they're too pointy for me? No, I'm just saying it has a Western style vibe. Okay. I, I like the interesting materials on them. And the jeans fit me great. Um, they are a size six, but they're not petite. So the length of them is pretty good. They go a little longer in the back, um, but they're a little higher in the front. So. All right, so that's the first outfit. I'm gonna keep the jeans and the booties on and try on the other two tops. All right, so let's start with the THML jacket. I think it's too long for me. It does have pockets. Um, this snaps here at the sleeves. It snaps all the way down the front. I definitely couldn't size down because there's no stretch in it. So it would, it would button down, but the length of it is really long. I mean, am I supposed to wear it buttoned? But if I sit down, it would come unbuttoned. It would. Unsnapped. I think it's just too long for me, don't you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure you know, what kind of look that is supposed to be. Um, Doesn't see, and the sleeves are really long, so I would have to, actually I wouldn't be able to do that. It would have to be snapped and rolled up. I wonder if this would be like with a, like a brown knee boot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't think this jacket is for me, but I do like the t-shirt underneath it. The t-shirt underneath is by Wishlist. Uh, it's the ribbed knit top. I like the color. I like the fit. It does have like an unfinished but sewn um, hem. It has a real round 
hemline. That's all I want to talk about. Let's see. We do a little front tuck. I got strings all over me. I think it fits really nice, and I would be more likely to wear it. Under this jacket. Does that look better? Yeah, that looks classy. So I like it with the booties, the jeans, the shirt, and this jacket. I would need a belt. I'd need a belt with a, a big buckle. I've got I've got plenty of them. So um, yeah, I think this is a cute outfit. I would, I would wear the whole thing. The booties. These boots feel really good. Are they too western looking for me? No, no, no. I'm just saying it has a, you know, they have a Western vibe to them, you know, with the different uh, leather on the uh, the heel. It has a different pattern, front faux, fur, whatever that is. But, uh, no, they're cute. They're cute. So, um, a long necklace. Just, I'm probably just going to have these taken in just about an inch. Just to make it fit right about there. To me, this is really classy. I think Carol did a great job for my very first style box. Okay, so now, as usual, I'm gonna look over the footage, see what pieces talk to me, and make some decisions, and I'll let you know what I decide to keep. All right, let's do a quick recap. Um, I watched the footage back, and to make this super simple, I'm going to keep the little black uh, faux suede moto jacket and the little um, wishless ribbed shirt. I like them together. The boots, this is cow hair. I was reading her note. This is cow hair back here. It, I think they're really pretty. I think they're a little too dressy for what I'm looking for right now. And maybe just slightly too long in the toe. I don't know. I mean, I think that once they were worn in and not so stark looking that they'd be great. But I think that they're just a little too dressy for me right now. They felt wonderful, um, but they're not exactly what I'm looking for yet. And they are $130, so I'm going to hold off on those. I'm not going to keep the little surplus top. I felt like it was too long, too long in the sleeves and too long in the torso. So I wasn't comfortable with that wrap style. Um, I'm not going to keep this jacket. It's um, interesting. I think it had it been shorter, I might have considered it. I just think it's way too long for me. I felt like it overwhelmed my body. And I just don't need another pair of jeans right now. Um, I do like that little cut in the front. I feel like I could just take a pair of jeans I currently own and kind of cut up and kind of fray it and it might give me the same look. I don't know. So um, honestly, I'm going to keep two items. The faux suede jacket is 89 and the wish list ribbed shirt was 31. So I can, I can put those with other, you know, I can wear flats with them right now. I, maybe I'm not looking for booties. I don't, I don't know. Um, I am. I have many black mules. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm looking for. I see that I'm supposed to, he says every box will have, um, if you use, if you, okay, if, there's like a referral program here. It says all you need to do is simply mention my name when filling out your style profile and you'll both get, you're going to get 20% off. We'll both get 20% off of our next box. So just Heather Turnage or hey, it's Heather. Uh, probably Heather Turnage, I guess would be what it is. Um, and then we both get 20% off of our next box. So um, your next curated collection of clothing and accessories. And they do have accessories. Um, in, in this, these little pictures here, you can see that there's a little handbag, other booties, um, jeans, and this is how she styled the shirt and jacket. And had that jacket been a little shorter, I think that would have been fun to have. This one is exactly what was in here, this top, these booties, and these jeans. And then the last picture is the same picture with the jacket, and then it adds a really neat little necklace, like a toggle necklace. Okay, is that coming through there? And a pair of earrings and then you have the she gives you the prices of those if you want to add those to them the handbag was $71 the sorrel boots were $145 which I just bought a pair of sorrel winter boots and that's a normal price for, for sorrel the earrings in that picture were $18 the necklace was $32 and the black oh they're black denim okay this last picture is black denim here and those were 89 so I'm assuming they're like cut from a cloth or something too. So um, 
Yeah, probably. But I think that this was a very good first JB style box and you can put your prices in there. I usually go like middle of the road um, in my when I choose my pricing and hope that they send me some lower price items and you know kind of even them all out. And then you'd say, this is how much I would normally spend on my denim. This is how much I would normally spend on my blouses or whatnot. So they, and I feel like she kind of stuck with, with my thought process. Um, the t-shirt the was $31 and the um, faux suede jacket was 89. It's cut from the cloth. That's a very normal price tag. Um, you do get your so I'm seeing on here that I got a 20% discount. So my subtotal, do you get a 20% discount if you keep everything? Maybe that's what, I'm still learning this. And I do know that um, there's not a checkout process online. You put everything back in the box, you add your label, and then they go through it when they receive it and charge you for the items that you kept. So, and she told me that on the phone. I don't know what that discount is for. So Carol, if you watch this, will you put it in the description box below or, or tag a, a note down there just saying exactly if, if whatever I've missed, um, I'm not sure. Oh, here's a meet the stylists. Oh, I see Carol right there. Hi, Carol. She's pretty. They've got four stylists, Kendra, Laura, Derry or Danny and Carol. All right. So that's it for my very first JB Style box. I think this was a fun box um, and, and things a little different than the other boxes that I get. I mean, you do get cut from the cloth from, but I've not seen this type of thing anywhere. Do wish that had been a little little smaller, you know, but or a little shorter. But And I do really like these. I think they're super, super classy looking, just a little too dressy for my lifestyle right now. All right, guys, thanks for spending some time with me today. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And for those of you that are coming back, and sorry, I've been a little bit um, hit and miss with my videos here recently. We've been really, really busy. So um, have a very happy day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.